Busting Cancer Myths, Separating Fact from Fiction Welcome to Science Deli, where we unravel the truths behind popular misconceptions. Today, we are tackling some of the most common myths and misconceptions about cancer. Let us separate fact from fiction. Is cancer a death sentence? Absolutely not. Since the 1990s, the likelihood of dying from cancer in the US has steadily decreased. For example, five-year survival rates for cancers like breast, prostate, and thyroid now exceed 90%. While survival depends on many factors, such as the type of cancer and available treatments, overall survival rates are improving. So, there's hope and progress. Will eating sugar make my cancer worse? No, it will not. Cancer cells do consume more sugar than normal cells, but there is no evidence that eating sugar will make cancer worse. However, a high sugar diet can lead to obesity, which is a risk factor for several types of cancer. Moderation is key. Is cancer contagious? Generally, no. Cancer does not spread from person to person like a cold or flu. The exception is organ or tissue transplants from a donor with a history of cancer, but this risk is extremely low. Some viruses and bacteria can increase cancer risk, but the cancer itself isn't contagious. Does my attitude determine my cancer risk or survival? There is no scientific evidence linking attitude to cancer risk or survival. While maintaining a positive outlook can help with social connections and coping mechanisms, it is not a determinant of cancer outcomes. It is okay to have a range of emotions. Can cancer surgery or a biopsy cause cancer to spread? The risk is extremely low. Surgeons take special precautions to prevent this, using different tools for different areas if needed. Surgery is a crucial part of cancer treatment, designed to remove cancer, not spread it. Will cancer get worse if exposed to air? No, exposure to air does not make tumors grow faster or cause cancer to spread. This is a myth with no scientific basis. Do cell phones cause cancer? No. Current studies show that the low-frequency energy emitted by cell phones does not damage genes or cause cancer. So, there is no need to worry about your phone causing cancer. Do power lines cause cancer? No, studies indicate that the electric and magnetic fields from power lines are not strong enough to damage genes or cause cancer. The risk from power lines is minimal. Can herbal products cure cancer? No, while some herbs may help manage side effects, no herbal products have been proven to treat cancer. Some may even interfere with treatments. Always consult your doctor about any supplements. If someone in my family has cancer, am I likely to get cancer too? Not necessarily. Only 5-10% of cancers are hereditary. Most cancers are due to genetic changes over a person's lifetime from aging and environmental factors. Having a family history does not guarantee you will get cancer. If no one in my family has had cancer, am I risk-free? Unfortunately, no. About 40% of people will be diagnosed with cancer at some point. Factors like aging, environmental exposures, diet, and lifestyle also play significant roles. Do antiperspirants or deodorants cause breast cancer? No. Research has found no evidence linking these products to breast cancer. So, you can use them without worry. By debunking these myths, we hope to alleviate unnecessary fears and promote informed decisions. Knowledge is power in the fight against cancer. If you found this information helpful, like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments. Stay curious and stay informed.